All right, welcome to Friday's Firm. Kind of new. Uh, we're actually doing this is the first one we've done in here. So. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's our new podcast room. I uh, wish it was. I wish I had kind of different setup. It'd be, I mean, like a play, different place to stand by doing this. But we're squeezed in here. <laughs> we're just we're just really close to each other. I like to have a little space. Anyway, um, so today is El, uh, Old Elk. This is one that. Uh, Eric, tell the story about where you got it and all that good stuff. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I was at a benefit uh, for an organization called TKO Parkinson's, um, and they had a silent auction, and um, I was actually dangerously close to leaving the silent auction with about 12 bottles of bourbon. Luckily, someone came in <laughs> at the last second and outbid me on a few things, because they were, was waiting too long to outbid me, because my wife was about to be very uh-huh. unhappy with me. Uh, but I did leave with uh, with three bottles, and this was one of them, and I'd never had this before. So had the, we just we just opened it, and I'd had it. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a premium brand bourbon. It's a company based out of Colorado. Uh, I know the distiller is uh, from Kentucky. I forgot the I forgot he was with Heaven Hill or it was with somebody local. Yeah. Uh, he was a pretty pretty big name. Uh, but this is basically a startup uh, bourbon company out of Colorado, and they've got several different uh, variations. And this is their cask finish um, that I've got. Go ahead and pronounce so, what kind of cask. I don't because I can't. Armagnac. I don't know. Armagnac. Ar- Armagnac. She'll throw a picture Ar- of it up, yeah, and you can know. you can yeah. do your best at pronouncing it. I I, I looked up that word. And even after I looked it up and it showed me the the respelling, I still couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. No, I, I got no shot at it. Yeah, but so. but it, it is a little bit more of a premium brand. Um, I've heard good things. I've not tasted it. Mm-hmm. Not had any. I've not had any variation of Old Elk whatsoever. So they have a. They do have a regular. They've got a weeded. They've got a rye. Uh, they've got this cask finish, and they had another different type of cask finish as well. Okay. Um, so some reviews I read online were. The, the, this is probably one of the better variations that they've got. What's the proof on this? 108. 108. So 108 and a half. Okay. Yeah. A little well, above average, but not not super potent. And so, Chris, you, you did a little research on it, and this whatever... Ar- Armagnac. There we go. Is what? Uh, it's like cognac. Uh, so it's distilled wine. Brandy is distilled fruit juice. Cognac is distilled wine. Uh, so this is like cognac, but it's like different grapes than what they use for cognac, and it was... The Gascony or something region of France, not for me, and I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, so it's basically just finished in like a cognac cask. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. Everybody want to try it? Uh, Aaron, have you had this? Nope. Yeah. Never, never even heard of I, it. Yeah, I've never either. And the cool thing is, while these guys are trying it, um, we were kind of looking at the bottle and we're taking pictures and all that good stuff, and we the the top, the cork, there's actually cork on the inside of this thing, but. The cool thing is, we think that very well may be like part of an elk antler. If, if it's not real, then it's a good fake one, and it's yeah. it's very cool. It's very cool. Yeah, no, it's kind of cool. So, just kind of a unique feature. All right, what do you guys think? That's good. I, I will say that the smell of this thing is mm-hmm. it'll. I mean, if, if you get a snotty nose, you can take a big whiff of this. And <laughs> it's like Vicks yeah. vapor rub. You're you when you were a kid, and you put that Vicks vapor rub yep. on your chest, yep. and you can I breathe. feel like Ooh. I have it on my throat right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That that's oh, a little bit a little bit strong. <laughs> this is really out. good, guys. I, I like this. This one. is really good. Well, the the uh, the taste is it, it it it's a little bit of a punch, but it's no it's nowhere near as bad as the smell. The smell, and they do say it's five years. So, mm. oh, if this was ten years old, it'd be yeah. incredible. Well, it, they, they probably will release it. It's yeah, a, you know, I'm sure let they it age a little bit longer. This is like I said, a newer company. Um, for for one for one oh nine, one oh eight, this goes it's pretty smooth. I like that. Now it's kind of a and I guess this is the, the Armand Yak or Cognac or whatever finish that is. Um I, it's a rare it's a really rich flavor. Yeah, I taste something I can't put mm-hmm. my finger on it, but I taste something. It, it definitely has a sweeter flavor yeah, for sure. Does. I mean yeah. it definitely gets in the sweet the sweetness, but and that's probably just the grapes that are or the Whatever that stuff is. Taste in the cognac. Because yeah. cognac can, I mean, I've, I've had some cognac, not a whole lot, but it seems to be a little on the sweet. It's more of a dessert yeah. type it is. drink, and it's a little sweeter, so it's probably where they get that sweetness. Yeah, it's a little closer to that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is really good. I I think I'm going to like it less with a cube of ice in it. So we'll give it a shot. I'll tell you what, I had a cough earlier. I think I'm cured. <laughs> Sorry, had a little, a little trouble there. Me and the ice had a little uh, fight, and I, I won. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, technical, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, all right, so uh, just real quick, we always talk about you know how we taste our bourbon. We always do it neat, and then we do it with a cute vice. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. Chris was uh, mentioning something about six, seven weeks ago, about uh, four or five weeks ago, yeah. how you maybe put a little bit of water in your mouth and then uh, taste it to see if it you know kind of dilutes it a little bit, if that changes the mm -hmm. flavoring of it. Uh, you can put cold stones in here and you know kind of chill it without watering it down. There's all kinds of different ways to do it, but but what's interesting, we just got through the Thanksgiving break and. I happened to go to uh, a particular person's house who claims to be a kind of a bourbon aficionado. Uh, and they do have a lot of bourbon. You go down to the bar, it's really cool. There's a lot of them. But the interesting thing is, um, you know, this person said, I only drink bourbon one way, and that's it. I don't do it any other way. And I was like, well, how do you know if you don't like something or you like something? He's like, I don't care. I do it my <laughs> way. And I'm like... <laughs> Okay. All right. You're um, bourbon, man. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that's fine. But I, I promise you, I, I, I kept saying, I promise you, if you try it a couple different ways, you'll probably find that the ones you don't like, you actually like, or maybe the ones you like, you might like it even better. What, what was different. his way? Uh, he's just, he's neat, but he adds like, a, he adds something to it. Because all of his, all of his bourbon is like really, really dark if you see it. And I don't know what he adds in it, but. It's not soda, but it, I don't know. I hope it's not soda. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. He drinks good stuff, too. So, um, But anyway, oh, and, and one other quick thing. Uh, when we talk about super premium bourbons and all that good stuff, you know, I think we always say uh, that all bourbon's $50 bourbon. It's just, you know, depending on, you know, what, what a retailer can sell it for is what the, uh, you know, is whether you get into bourbon that's 90 bucks or 100 bucks or, you know, hundreds of dollars of, for a bourbon. Um but anyway, just make sure you try them all and try them different ways. Yeah. That's the point. All right, what do you guys think? Now you chilled it. The chill took the bite I don't think it's nearly as good. It, it All the flavor is gone. The burn is still there. I still have the flavor. Gone. I'm still tasting flavor. But the uh, the burn's completely gone yeah. with the with the kid. Okay. I liked it better without. Yeah. Um, I mean, I still I still have flavor, but it's just pared down a little I, bit. I'm exaggerating. I mean, there's it's still there, but it's not nearly as much of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I got a little bit of flavor. It did take a little bit away, but also still have a little bit of burn. It didn't just mm -hmm. completely take the burn away. Yeah, me too. It's it's now it's not as bad. I still get the sweetness. The sweetness hasn't gone away. Um, I still like it. Oh yeah, no. I, yeah. See, with the Cuban, and I'm not a big fan, but I really did like that neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I I do tend to like the wine and and uh, you know finished bourbons. Yeah. I do like those flavors. Yeah, it's 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 good. Uh, no, this is this is pretty good. I mean, this is uh, you know I'll go ahead and rate mine. Um, you know, if I were ninety dollars, I'm I'm yeah. gonna rate it based on the ninety dollar price point. Uh, now, giving it to charity, that's a whole different subject. I you know I'd pay a hundred bucks for that just because it was going to charity, but. Um, if I were going out to a retail store and I were buying it and I had to pay 90 bucks for it, um, six and a half. I just don't, I, I think there's other bourbons that are really good. And I'm going to go back and rate it according to what the, the 45 or $50 bottle of uh, the Old Forester 1910, because that's probably transitioned into my favorite, uh, which I hate to say that. Sorry, that's bullet. your new benchmark. Yeah, that's yeah. my new benchmark. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, it's a six and a half for me. Yeah. I bought an old Forester 1870 over the weekend, oh, yeah. last yeah. weekend, yeah. Uh, after doing that series, I, I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, price notwithstanding, I, I mean, the only reason I got this was I would not have paid 90 bucks, yeah. really, for any bourbon, quite frankly, at the store. Um, but this was, uh, once again, was going to charity. Actually, I did not even pay 90 bucks. I think part of the reason I got it for less than 90 bucks at the silent auction was that I don't think most people even knew heard of this was. before. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I, I misunderstood. Yeah. I thought you paid 90 at the no, silent no, this, auction, so this the retail is, is 90 This is a $90. Right. I looked, this is a $90 right. bottle of bourbon. I did not pay $90 for it. I probably would have, just, you know. Because um, it's a charity. It, it was a silent yeah. auction. It was a charity. Yeah. Of, you yeah. know, a buddy of mine's involved with it. But um, it's... This is a, probably at least a seven and a half for me, eight maybe. I mean, wow. this, is, this is really good. I, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay ninety bucks for it, but it's really good. I do, I do like the flavor a lot. I'm gonna give it a six. I, I second everything that you said. Almost exactly my my opinion on it. I mean, <clears throat> it's good. It's not top end, yeah. it's, but it's yeah. not definitely not. Uh, I put it middle of the road for me. Okay. Uh, I would do the same thing. I'll put some qualifiers on it. I'm gonna give it a six, and I really liked it. But 
at, if this was 40 bucks, I would love this. But at 90, it's way too expensive from what I'm getting. Uh, a little geographical bias. I mean, it, like you said, it's a Colorado company. Uh, yes, I'm a Tennessee fan, but I'm born and raised in Kentucky. God. So Kentucky <laughs> bourbons are always going to be higher up on my scale, even though the next one we're getting ready to do is a Tennessee bourbon. Um, I'm going to give it a six because it, the main thing is 90 bucks. Yeah. It's really good, but it's not $90 good. Yeah, I hear you. All right, there it is. So a bunch of sixes and one seven and a half. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, and again, that just shows that everybody's uh, taste palette is totally different, different when it comes yeah. to different bourbons. So you got to try, just, you know, keep trying different bourbons and, you know, shoot us your uh, message, uh, a message and say, hey, we just tried this one and you ought to try it out because um, we've done some of those. And so, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you tune in Itching Every Week, which uh, we Try different bourbon. Actually, the Jack Daniels Bonded Bonded is sitting right over there. Uh, it looks very orangish, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It looks very orangey. I like that. It's almost a like a subliminal yeah, messaging. It's very orangey. But anyway, <laughs> we'll try that here in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll, of course, it'll be posted the following week. But uh, again, just make sure you tune in each every week. I think these come out on a Friday. We also have, as a reminder, uh, we have a, another podcast that is called the Money Puzzle that comes out every Wednesday, I believe. And then we are starting to do some shorts. So on the Wednesday, uh, that's our sort of our long version. It's uh, usually 20, 25 minutes or so, something like that, 15 to 20, 25 minutes or so. When we take a subject matter, we really spread that over, you know, a longer conversation. We are starting to put out shorts, which mean not shorts like you would wear. These are shorts uh, like a minute or two. It's amazing where his brain goes. I'm, I'm just enjoying <laughs> listening to him explain to the kids what we're doing. Right. No yeah. one who understands the least of why we're Ooh, doing it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, uh, But anyway, these shorts are, are pretty cool. So we, we published one this week, and all four of us will be doing them. But we're usually taking a topic that we have talked about in the past or has relevant based on a, a client meeting, and we're shortening it up to about a minute is what we're trying to keep it. Minute, minute and a half, between minute and two minutes. Uh, so those are pretty cool. Those will come out as well. So when you look for it, just go to YouTube and uh, search, not Google, search uh, the money puzzle, and they'll all be loaded underneath there. And just make sure you subscribe so uh, you'll get all of our content when we post it every week. So anyway, that's it for another week. Make sure uh, that you tune in next week when we look at uh, Jack Daniels Bond. It should be pretty good. Have a good week.